Taiwan's President Tsai Ing-wen is set to deliver a major speech by video at this year's Copenhagen Democracy Summit in Denmark. It will be her third virtual address to the summit. Other key speakers at the two-day event are Lithuanian Prime Minister Ingrida Shimonetta, former U.S. President Barack Obama, and Taiwan lawmaker Freddie Lim. This year's summit comes against the backdrop of Russia's invasion of Ukraine and rising tensions on the Korean Peninsula. To discuss this more, I spoke with Chen Kuanting, CEO of think tank Taiwan Next Gen Foundation here in Taipei. But Ukraine is facing these challenges during the wartime, in the wartime. So they are facing Russia's invasion. In the meantime, Russia's disinformation, uh, uh, manipulating um, media abroad and, 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 and domestically. Uh, so uh, when they are facing these problems, the world needs to provide help, assistance, or technical assistance to uh, those who are fighting against against authoritarian threats. This is why it's extremely crucial for all of the global leaders to get together to find a solution or provide a platform to find a solution for those who are fighting for freedom or democracy. Okay. And how big a focus do you think that Taiwan will be in the overall summit? Uh, we are facing authoritarian threats all over the world. Um, for, for European countries, they are facing Russian. Uh, for us, we are in, in the Pacific and we are facing China and other authoritarian regimes. They are equipped with latest technology. They have uh, tremendous resources to, to disinform uh, democracies around the world. Um, sometimes they would even intervene uh, democratic countries' uh, elections. So um, Taiwan has experience of dealing with these issues, dealing with these problems. And, and Taiwan's representative this year is Freddie Lim. Could you tell our viewers why he's been selected? Legislator Lim has a strong international profile, which afforded him role recognitions in international democracy and human rights advocacy circles. Uh, for example, he actively contributes to the Taiwan Parliamentary Human Rights Commissions. Lim also brings the experience of working human rights-oriented civil society organizations, including uh, his five years tenure as a leader of the Taiwan chapter of Amnesty International.